We survived the balloon ride in Luxor. in Luxor. somewhere over here hopefully not in that pool or in the power lines we're coming into land nice and smoothly We survived the balloon ride in Luxor. was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who reigned approximately from 1126 to 1108 BCE. He ruled during a challenging period in Egypt's history. When he took to the throne, Egypt was facing internal issues. To address this, Ramses IX undertook several projects to improve the kingdom. He commissioned the construction of buildings, restored important temples, and worked to safeguard Egypt's borders against external threats. Ramses IX was particularly devoted to the god Amun, and made significant offerings to temples dedicated to this deity in the hope of bringing prosperity back to Egypt. A 
Upon his death, Ramses IX was interred in a remarkable tomb known as KB6 in the Valley of the Kings. The tomb is renowned for its distinctive design and intricate decorations. Despite the difficulties of his reign, Ramses IX is remembered for his efforts to preserve Egypt's cultural and religious traditions. Ramses III, an influential pharaoh of ancient Egypt, ruled during a pivotal period approximately from 1186 to 1155 BCE. His reign was marked both by external threats and internal challenges. Ramses III is notably remembered for his successful defence against the Sea Peoples, a group of mysterious invaders who posed a significant danger to Egypt. His leadership and victory in the Battle of Delta helped safeguard the kingdom's stability. Ramses III was not only a warrior, but also a builder. He initiated several ambitious construction projects, including the Grand Temple Complex at Medinet Habu and the Mortuary Temple at Del El Medina, showcasing his commitment to Egyptian culture and religion. Beyond his military and architectural achievements, Ramses III played a crucial role in preserving Egypt's cultural heritage during a tumultuous era. His legacy endures through his historical records, monuments and inscriptions that offer insights into this fascinating chapter of ancient Egyptian history. Ramses I, known as Paramesu before he became Pharaoh, ruled during a significant period in ancient Egypt around 1292 to 1290 BCE. His reign marked the beginning of the 19th dynasty, following the tumultuous period of the Second Intermediate Period. Ramses I established a stable government and laid the foundation for a greatness that would follow in the new kingdom. Although his reign was relatively short, he initiated several key developments, including military campaigns that helped secure Egypt's borders and restore order. Ramses I also began construction projects such as the completion of his own tomb in the Valley of the Kings, KV16. His legacy lies in being the patriarch of dynasty that produced some of Egypt's most famous pharaohs, including his grandson Ramses II, often referred to as Ramses the Great. Tutankhamun, often referred to as King Tut, was one of ancient Egypt's most famous pharaohs reigning during the 18th dynasty from 1332 to 1323 BCE. Tutankhamun's reign is known for its bravery, but also for the remarkable discovery of his nearly intact tomb in the Valley of the Kings in 1922 by Howard Carter. Despite his relatively short rule, Tutankhamun is notable for his beautiful burial treasures, which include a famous gold mask and intricate artifacts. Tutankhamun's death at a young age remains a mystery and his legacy is primarily tied to the fascination and intrigue surrounding his tomb's discovery. His story continues to captivate the people worldwide and serves as a window into the world of ancient Egypt. We're just leaving uh, the Valley of the Kings area where Kings Ramses tombs and uh, Tutankhamun were um, buried and mummified in this area. And as you can see in the background, it's um, quite an inhospitable place. We're heading to the Aldair Al-Bari Temple. Mm -hmm. 